Hey guys, another fun DIY project today because we are making, this is ridiculous I know, a DIY lolly stick hamster wheel. Let's just let that one sink in. I know, it sounds bizarre. I didn't really start this project as a serious thing, it was more just a bit of fun, just to see if I could, and also because at some point I would very much like to do a lolly stick themed cage. Yeah. That being said, if you do plan on making this wheel for your hamster, just keep in mind a couple of things. First of all, it is a wooden wheel, which means if your hamster is a wheel peer, it's not going to last very long unless you varnish it with a non-toxic varnish, i.e. Plasticoat. Not a sponsored video, nothing to do with Plasticoat, it's just the only brand that I know for certain is safe to use. Second point, because this wheel has cross sections on it, I wouldn't personally suggest using it for pairs of dwarf hamsters, and this is because dwarf hamster pairs tend to like to run on the same wheel at the same time, and when you've got a wheel with cross sections or doors on it, like this Trixie wheel as an example, there is a small risk of there being an accident as one of the hamsters tries to get on or off while the other hamster is still running, and the one that's trying to get on or off can sometimes get caught up in the door or in the cross section, and that may result in an injury. So. Single hamsters only is my recommendation. That's the disclaimers covered, and the supplies you'll need for this DIY will be on screen now. Although this is a lolly stick wheel, there are a couple of non lolly stick items that you will need, so make sure you've got everything and we'll get on with this DIY. To start, take 12 lolly sticks and line them up in a neat row. Then take two more lolly sticks and glue them down to the back to keep everything together. Flip this panel over and on every other lolly stick, you're going to glue a second lolly stick. These are going to be the grips for your hamster's feet so they're actually able to turn the wheel around. You'll want to repeat these steps until you make a total of six panels if you're making it for dwarf or Chinese hamsters, and eight panels if you're making it for Syrians. Once you've made all of the panels, you're going to glue them together at a specific angle, and this is so you get the shape of the wheel right. If you're making it for dwarf hamsters, you're going to glue each of your six pieces at a 120 degree angle. If you're making it for a Syrian hamster, you're going to glue each of your eight pieces at a 135 degree angle. To get the angle right, it's best if you have a guide to follow, and you can make this in one of two ways. Either draw it out yourself if you have a protractor, or if you have a printer, you can go online, find the angle and print that out and use that as a guide. All you have to do is take two panels, line one up against each line, add a bit of glue and hold them in place until the glue sets. Then you will have the perfect angle and you want to repeat that with all of the panels until you either have a hexagon if you're making it for dwarfs or an octagon shape if you're making it for Syrians. Once you've allowed the glue to dry, you should have a pretty stable wheel shape. And next you'll want to take six more lolly sticks or eight more lolly sticks depending on the size you're making and glue one at a time to each corner so that they're pointing inside the wheel. You're going to do this all the way around so that there's a little gap in the center. This is where the dowel is going to be going so the wheel can actually turn. It doesn't matter if the lolly sticks are overhanging the edge slightly as long as you have that hole in the middle. Again, wait until the glue has completely dried, then flip the wheel over and on the inside over that hole you're going to glue one of your washers. Once that's glued down, you're going to repeat this exact same process on the other side of the wheel so that both sides have cross sections. So that's the wheel itself finished. Now we need to make the frame for it and this is really very easy. You want to start by taking six lolly sticks and making a frame that looks like this one. It's a kind of cartoon house shape, but just make sure that at the top your two lolly sticks cross over because this is where your dowel is going to be sitting to hold your wheel in place. Now you'll want to make two of these house shaped frames and then on the bottom corners of both of them you want to glue your craft squares. These are just going to help give your frame a little more support and help it stand up a little more easily. Next Next, take two lolly sticks and glue them together, and you want to do that twice so you'll have two sets of two lolly sticks glued together. And you're going to use those lolly sticks to join those two house shaped frames. And you're going to do that simply by gluing them to the little craft cubes at the bottom, and that's going to join the two frames together and complete your wheel's frame. Now we're going to set aside that frame for a minute and bring back the wheel and your wooden dowel. You're going to slide the wooden dowel through the two washers so it goes in one side of the wheel and out the other. 
Then on both ends of the dial, you're going to thread on your beads. The reason we're adding beads here is simply to stop the wheel from sliding up and down the dowel. Now you don't want these beads to be too tight because you still want the wheel to be able to spin. You just want them to be close enough that the wheel is not going to be able to shift its position. The final step is to take your wheel and fit it onto the frame simply by placing the dowels into the little V shapes and adding a little bit of glue on there just to hold everything in place. And that, ladles and jelly spoons, is how you make a hamster wheel out of lolly sticks. They are the best thing in the world, they really are. So I really hope you enjoyed this fun, slightly silly DIY, and if you do choose to make this, please feel free to send me pictures of your hamsters using them because I just, it's so much fun to watch a hamster run on a wheel made of lolly sticks. It's just, it's slightly bizarre and I love it. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Potassium is dragging one of his space mushrooms across the cage. Where is my other camera?